Good morning, Philippines! In the last episode, we tasted crab and delicious pineapple. We got acquainted with the Philippine public transportation, jeepneys, and visited the city market. For breakfast, we had an unusual dessert. It's called puto cochinta. I corrected Borya several times in pronunciation because he kept saying not a very beautiful word. So, be careful when ordering this dessert in the Philippines. Puto is made from wheat flour mixed with tapioca flour and cane sugar. The top is sprinkled with caramel and grated coconut. This is a popular dessert in the Philippines. It is delicious but very sweet. After breakfast, Boris showed the girls how to use the camera so they could take pictures of us. We went for a little walk to the river. What is it? Fish. A lot fish. of fish. A lot of fish. 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 Yeah. Fish. Mm. Small. And here, there is big fish too? Yes. There is many kind of fish there. Ah. In the river? Yeah? Yeah. And uh, can fish in, uh, even here? Like, stand, stay? Yeah. It's dirty. Dirty? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, dirty fish? Yeah. Because river is not good. Ah. And here not uh, uh, swimming? No, like. no. No, we can't swim. By the water, we spotted this little sea urchin. Borya thought there were a lot of sea urchins like this in the river, but I said that they live in salt water, more often on coral reefs. It must have gotten caught in the fisherman's net and been thrown out here. Now he's trying to get to his own in the ocean. There are a lot of sea urchins in the Philippines. Most of them are edible. In Japan, they are considered a delicacy and are expensive. Many sea urchins have poisonous spines, but in most cases, they are not deadly to humans. We are glad that the kids are talking to mom, although most of the time, they don't understand each other. In the next few days, they will be living with us. I feel happy whenever I'm with my family. For an early lunch, Mamlin made a vegetable mix called inabrao in Ilocano, steamed shrimps and fried tilapia fish. I also sliced green mango. We had a mouth-watering lunch. Yes, it's here.
After the meal, my brothers taught me how to ride a bike. I got so happy and excited like a child. Mario got on the bike too and rode around the neighborhood for a bit. He noticed that the bearings were broken and he gave Danielle and then Ray some money to repair their bikes. I pulled out of our suitcases the top secret shade when we were still in Russia and gave them to Danica and Daniela. I made it uh, for them myself. Yeah, Darlene made it. Yes. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I made it for them. Very I nice. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Darlene very talented and very fast uh, learn fast learning. Mm -hmm. learning professional professional <laughs> yeah <laughs> I gave Glorilyn a dress that I also knitted with my own hands Darlene for her birthday My sisters are very happy with these gifts They said they would wear them when we go to the beach Today, we are not planning to go anywhere, but the family was going into town, and we went with them for the company. Mom can see the city, buy some necessities, and in general, it's a great opportunity to get to know new places. We would only be in Pangasinan province for two weeks, and it would be boring to spend the time sitting at home. Today, Mama will go on the bicycle. Вот нас опять садится здесь несколько человек. Вот три в люльке. Да, и три, наверное, там. Шесть человек. My uncle Dennis volunteered to take us to town. Willie is taking Daniela and Danica on another motorcycle. It's a good thing he's coming with us. We want to give him some kind of gift too. Our first stop is this supermarket. It has everything from clothes to groceries, just like the other stores we've been to, only bigger. I had worked here for a while, but the pay was very small, so I decided to leave. This is uh, rice flour with uh, glutinous rice flour uh, for uh, like a cake, rice uh -huh. cake. Made, yeah, it's from Thailand. Секция с молочными продуктами здесь небольшая, но есть даже сметана, саур крем. Правда, примерно уже месяц месячной давности изготовления. Кислого молока или кефира здесь найти не получится. Мама хотела бы что-нибудь испечь. Uh, this, uh, like, uh, uh, this, like, chocolate, this chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all here in Philippines sweet. <laughs> а вот это вот это вот. А uh, this, uh, uh, mm -hmm. ah, крекер. Cracker, yes, Cracker. with uh, cheese. Ага, uh -huh. солененький, uh, with salt. Salty. Это лимон. Мальчишкам. For boys. boys. Сейчас я очень удивился, какой здесь вентилятор. 
Вот такой вертолет целый. After we got our groceries, we took the two boys, Danielle and Willie, to this clothing store. We let them decide for themselves what they wanted. They picked out these white shirts and are very glad they got a gift from us. They are good kids, hardworking and often accompany us. We decided to eat at Manginasal's famous fast food restaurant. I wanted Bori and Mom to try their palabok and the famous halo halo. Palabok is a dish of noodles with sauce, minced meat, shrimps, and eggs. It should also be sprinkled with clemency for extra sourness. On the other hand, halo halo is a cold dessert made of many ingredients such as crushed ice, different kinds of beans, sweet bananas, jackfruit, jelly, yams, flan, and ice cream drizzled with milk. Halo halo means mix mix, which is basically what you have to do before you eat this wonderful dessert, mix. Huh? <laughs> Cold. Cold. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> Boyan noticed that quite a few people had gathered at this restaurant. I explained that it's because there's a special item on the menu here. If you order a chicken dish, you get unlimited rice and you can eat as much as you can. Just yell, rice please, and the waiter with a container full of rice comes to your table to refill your plate again. Regular people who are easily full can order a dish of chicken and only one cup of rice at a lower price. It's a very smart business strategy. We were driving home, but suddenly our tricycle stopped in the middle of the road. It turned out to be out of gas. Our driver and a few drops of gasoline that had dripped from the tank into the carburetor tried to start the bike, and he succeeded. But that happiness didn't last long. The engine stalled again. Put 
Ito lang natin. Как королева тебя толкают на мотоцикле. We called Willy and asked him to buy gasoline and a bottle. After a while, he arrived and we were saved. Very beautiful. There are many bamboo houses there in Philippines. Here in Philippines. You like uh like so? Fan? We decided to take a walk along the river bank and there we met my cousin Nelly Jane and her children. Boryu told that it's so cute to see me holding a baby in my arms. Sometimes we talk about having children in the future when we are ready and have a stable life. Teenage pregnancy is very common in the Philippines. This is one of the problems in the Philippines. It's not the perfect country, but we fall in love with it more and more every day. Larilin and mom are making dinner, mung beans with malangai. It is a very healthy dish. The malangai plant is very common in the Philippine backyard. Both the leaves and the fruit are edible, contains many vitamins, and can be used as medicine. Filipinos are very fond of this plant. The full moon is shining above us. The day has come to an end, and this cute lizard is out hunting. Okay, 
In the next episode. Tamarind? Yeah. Ah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs>